Welcome back to New England Nation. Time now for our roundtable with Maury Hirsch Gordon and Andy Gresh. All right, so many people favoring the Patriots so heavily in this game. I'm not going to spoil what your game pick is, but it's hilarious. Um, what can the Patriots do if this is going to be the blowout? What can they do to make themselves get better at this game? Use it as like a practice. Well, um, I don't think you can apply that in an NFL game okay. because what you're doing is you're preparing for that particular team. Right. And while I may think there may not be a lot to prepare for with the Buffalo Bills, it's still week to week. And that's why I think you hear Bill Belichick, Ruthie, always say week to week. That's why sometimes Phil Dorsett plays 40 snaps right. and sometimes he plays three. I think this could be the first game all year Tom Brady doesn't play the entire fourth quarter. I mean, you might be right. I think they're going to throw it 45 times with Brady. I think wow. the way to get after Buffalo is to spread them out, throw it all over the lot, kill them with white and guys like that underneath, and then here comes your draws, your running game, run it when you have to. But, I mean, there's no pass rushers, in my opinion, to fear on the Bills' defense. All right, LaShawn McCoy, one of the Bills' biggest threats, he was injured last week, so we don't know what capacity he'll be playing this week. But how can the Patriots con control him if he is on the field? Well, if he isn't healthy, which I don't think he is because he's killing my fantasy team, <laughs> he's not going to be the threat in right. the passing game. So I think what you worry about with him is you don't want to get beat in play action. And look, if the guy does have a spry first quarter – then I think you adapt accordingly. But going in, I don't think you look at him as a real threat. He's not himself. No, definitely not. Less than four yards per rush. And guys like Zay Jones, Andre Holmes, Cam Phillips, never even heard of these guys coming right. in, uh, you know, to until the game. So you got to let them kind of beat you, uh, especially if McCoy – uh, you know, has, has some yards. Zay Jones had a billion catches at ECU, and then he went ECU. to the Bills, right. okay? <laughs> so he played at a place that was more offensively efficient than the Buffalo Bills, uh, and the volume of catches show it, and then he goes there and had like 20 catches last year, whatever it was. Okay, Gronk didn't play last week against the Bears. He didn't practice one of the days this week. He's been back, kind of limited. He's clearly hurting. Something's wrong. We don't know totally what it is, his back, his ankle, whatever. Is it worth playing him this week? We know how much he loves to play in Buffalo. Yeah, he's going to want to push to play. They don't need him to win this game. And right. I wrote this in Gresh's grades in the Pro Joe that if you need to sit him down, this is the week to sit him down. Right. Now, the complicated part of this is that contract and right. those incentives that Gronk is you know, eligible to get. So do they look at it and say, don't worry, we'll take care of you, kid. Go ahead and sit down. Or right. is Gronk going to bowl his way into the game and then find out that they don't use him a ton? I don't know. It's a tricky spot. I'd say sit him down and give him the old wink, wink. We'll give you something later. I agree. I think situationally maybe he could play yes. 5, 10, 15 plays, but I think for the most part he's going to sit. Because and, Maury, if he does play, if he ahead. does play, I think it might be a lot of lining him out wide and using him as a dummy or a decoy okay. instead of putting him in a situation where he's got block people. Um, will they miss Sony Michelle not just this week, but however many weeks he's out? What kind of impact is they going to have? Are they going to pick up some another running back? What's the impact Boy, of Sony's injury? I, I think they need another body. But if he's going to be back in two weeks, then it isn't worth it. And one of the things that Bill Belichick is great at and has been over the course of his career is not overreacting. Right. Well, we got to get you know Ted Copetlo in here because mm -hmm. we need a running back. Right. No, it's we here's what we have. We'll piece it all together. I think they take that route, especially since the bye is looming. I agree. And especially if you're going to patchwork one week, it's going to be against the Bills in, in a game where you're probably going to win by two or three Again, touchdowns. Again, Maury, you could start a running back and they'd still be fine. Okay. Stiff arm. <laughs> All right. Bills head coach Sean McDermott said today the Patriots have better weapons than they did last year, this year. Um, obviously, we have Josh Gordon kind of replacing maybe Brandon Cooks, you, but we don't have Deion Lewis. We don't have Danny Mandola, but you have Julian Edelman. You have Gronk. But, Ju I mean, what's your opinion All right, on this? All right, this is real simple. Gronk was Gronk. That's the same. Right. Edelman is still Edelman. That's the same. The difference is now you have Sony Michelle and backs out of the backfield who can catch it more consistently. They're more committed to the run game. And Cordero Patterson, even though they don't use mm -hmm. him a ton, you have to prepare for him. Right. in all that eye candy type motion that they use. And then there's Josh Gordon who's coming along in the offense. And I think Trent Brown's doing a great job at left tackle. So I can buy what McDermott's selling. No, no, no doubt. I think Phil Dorsett's maturation as well. You, got, oh, yeah. you have to Good respect point. him on the outside as well. I mean, last year he was basically a non-threat. This year he obviously has you know, a year in the offense. He's been making a big impact. Kind of a tame roundtable this week. You guys agreed a lot. 
Well, when you're right, I mean, do you want to argue with us? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I have a magnet on my refrigerator that says just because you say it doesn't mean you're right. Okay, it's still to come on New England Nation, our social media blitz. We're